Hey everyone, I am Zaib Khan and I am a front-end engineer. In this video, I will introduce you to the concept of content projection in Angular and how we can use it to create reusable but more flexible components in our apps. Components are building blocks of any Angular app and whenever we see some amount of repetition in our code, it's best practice to convert it into a reusable component. This makes future changes much easier because we only need to change things in one place. Let's assume we need to create a UI for showing user profile information like this. Now you can see here that the overall structure of each of the data is quite similar. There is an icon and there is a caption and then there is a border here and there is an, uh, a background and a rounded uh, panel. So it's a good candidate for a reusable component in Angular. But the content in each of them is different. So one of them has normal text. The other it has a colored chip and then one has a photo, a photo and, and then one has uh, some HTM, some custom HTML written here with a line break and with uh, the font bold style. So how do we create such a component? Let's get started. Let's go ahead first and create this reusable component. We have here a basic Angular app with Tailwind CSS added to it. I've already covered how to add Tailwind CSS to your app in a previous video which is linked above. We'll call the new component as data view. Let's go into our component. Now from the layout that we saw, we need a caption and an icon, uh, and an icon input to it. So both of these are strings, so we can easily pass them in with the input decorator here. So let's create an input with an icon and an input with a caption. Next, we need to add the layout for this. I already have something prepared for this, so I'm just going to copy it in. Nothing much. In a container. Uh, uh, using Tailwind classes and the icon and the caption side by side just as in this. Great, let's add it to our app component and test it out with an enclosing two column grid. We already have a heading here. We are going to add a div with a grid and uh, which has two columns and which has also a gap of eight. Uh, here's our component and we'll specify the inputs here. The first one was icon. In this case we'll have info as the icon and then in caption we're going to write as the name of the person. Okay, so let's quickly test it out by doing ng-serve. Nice, so we have our uh, profile data item showing here fine. Now for the tricky part. How do we allow the component to show different types of content inside of it? The content is not simple strings or data that we can pass in like the caption or the icon. Some of them involve custom styling and others are HTML markup. In, some, in such cases, we can use content projection in Angular. Content projection allows us to specify any content from outside of our component for example from here and uh, it projects it inside wherever we specify so inside our data view component ng content is used for this purpose let's add it to our reusable component so we go into ng and uh, data view and we're going to add our ng content here great so now Whatever we enclose within the component here will be projected inside of the component at the place where we have ng content, which is here. So let's test this out by giving our user a name and making it bold. So let's create a span here. Uh, let's write the name as John Smith. And we're going to give a font bold here. Okay. So great. Uh, content projection works here. It's as simple as that. 
note now that we can send in just about anything as a content to our component. I already set up some more data items with other kinds of data so we can see how it works. I'll now copy that in. So if I quickly go through here, the first, the second one has a date which is pretty normal. The third one has uh, a currency and then the uh, one after that has a color chip which we are, which is sort of a custom style that we want. And the next is a photo uh, with the source from which is unsplash and the last one is just plain HTML with line breaks and everything else. So let's see how this works. Great. So as you can see, it's pretty remarkable how we can have a reusable component which is also flexible to be allowed to send complex layouts from outside. Now this is the simplest example of content projection. In more complex components such as the Angular Material Card for example, uh, multiple contents are being projected by using selectors. I'll be covering that in a future video. Hope this has helped you understand content projection in Angular. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button to get more videos. Thanks for watching.